Hi, it's Matt, and welcome to Healit.life. Today, we're going to be talking about a really amazing superfood called kefir. It comes from the Turkish word kif, which means feel good, and it's exactly what you're going to feel like after consuming this beverage. I've had Crohn's for so many years, I've been just consuming this for a month. I've gained loads of weight, I have really good stool, digestion after it, and it's something I'd love to share with you guys, so you guys can do it yourself at home. This is the end product, and it's almost basically like a, a drinkable yoghurt, not so thick. The main reason why it's so much better is because as opposed to yoghurt where it has only about 5 good strains of bacteria, kefir has up to about 60 different types of strains of bacteria and yeasts so if you've got a bad digestive system then it's really going to repopulate it and make it much much healthier it's gonna it's just gonna get your body right in sync where it should be as you may not actually know but Hippocrates the father of medicine the Greek ancient man of his time he said for instance all diseases come from the gut they all start in the gut so if you have a healthy gut, a lot of good bacteria, then you're going to save yourself a lot of trouble. And this is something I've had to learn the hard way, my disease of Crohn's. So just bear that in mind. And it's really rather simple, so let's get, let's get to it. If you look at these kefir grains, this is what ferments the milk and adds all the beautiful strains. Basically what you need is you need some really good, really good milk. I've got some, I've got some organic, fresh, raw goat's milk. Goat's milk is really good for digestion because the fats are smaller, raw, there's a lot more bacteria and kind of good cultures, enzymes and vitamins in here, so I'm always trying to use that. But if anything, I've got some organic cow's milk just to show you. If you if you can't get raw like goat's milk or like which is my preference, we've got a plastic strainer, a plastic measuring jug, some glass jars, a plastic spoon, so you have no metal, because metal is actually like actually reacts with the kefir grains and kind of it slows them kind of just it slows them from replicating and growing got a tea towel i got an elastic band and i got like a one i made earlier as well okay so now i got the grains i'm going to place them in the jar got the grains in the jar and I just brought out the goat's milk about an hour ago so I just approached room temperature which is where you want the kefir grains to be at basically I don't want to chop the grains and Fantastic milk from the farmer's market. Put your tea towel on here instead of a lid because I want the kefir grains to breathe. But I don't want any dust or any other bacteria or the dirt to settle on the milk. If you want it to ferment over a, a week, you put it in your fridge. I put it in a room temperature kind of warm place it's winter here in the uk at the moment so i put it next to the stove because it can get a bit cool around the kitchen so that's where i put it and uh, basically just waiting 24 to 48 hours until the next process and the next process when you make a kefir you're always going to have a kefir from like the day or two before which after its first process then you'll go into its next process which is straining it and then using it for yourself or or straining and then putting it into the second firm, ferment where basically it just proves longer if the lactose any remaining lactose gets eaten any more ba bacteria has time to replicate even more and it becomes more sour which is kind of what you want it to be because that shows you it's like it's 100% perfect it's it's going to be it's most potent and healthy at that stage 
if you look at that, there's loads of bubbles. And it's basically the grains respiring. And then you strain it. So this is fermented for quite a bit. It's gonna help it help it through. And basically the kefir is fantastic because it breaks down all the proteins in the milk and makes them really bioavailable. So they breaks all the proteins into amino acids, into simple amino acids, which are so basically proteins which are so easily like digested compared to normal. And with no lactose, near enough no lactose in it. If you've got any problems with milk, which I used to have really badly before with my Crohn's, then this kind of, this is really what you need to be having. I used to be so inconsistent going to the toilet like once a week or if I would I'd have diarrhea really often but now I've been going so consistently having a really nice form bowel movement I can't tell you how nice that is it's just you just feel fantastic and you really after consuming it I remember just walking out onto like just going shopping and stuff with a skip it's just like I can't believe it. it's just it's just amazing how something like, like so traditional and basic like this can help you. And I've taken all the drugs, so it's just for my for my disease, and it's it's just as simple as this almost. And every time it ferments the milk, they grow slightly and reproduce. About two, three weeks ago, when I started using these, for instance, it was probably just a tape. A, a tablespoon and now it's hand, a handful. So now I've separated the cultured milk, I'm going to put it for the second ferment into the fridge so for it to just ripen. Basically, it's this kind of perpetual process every every couple days, every day, as you need it. You just redo it, redo this, and you drink the kefir. And this is what you're left with. It's really, 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 people think it's bad. It's really tasty. Maybe it takes a bit of getting used to, but it took me no time at all to get used to it. It really reminds me of cottage cheese. It's really creamy. It's kind of a little bit thick, but really drinkable. And I just feel amazing from it. So, I mean, if, you, if you're tired of drugs, nothing's really helping you, just stick to the basics, guys. This shit, this is really, really something fantastic.